Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. Welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial. We're gonna show you how to create this circles logo using Blend tool. And this logo was inspired by Vipro logo, not this one. <laughs> it's uh, actually an old one, but this newly presented Ray design. And I have a question for you. Based on the old logo and a new version of logo, what does the company do? I await your suggestion in the comments form below. And while you are thinking about this question, let me show you how to create this logo inside Adobe Illustrator. So I'm now inside Adobe Illustrator 1920 by 1080 document. And first of all, I want to grab my ellipse tool, hit once on my artboard, and set the width of my ellipse to 40 pixels, and set the height to 40 pixels. Click OK to create an ellipse, get rid of the stroke, set fill to let's say this green color, and we need to create a duplicate. In order to do that, holding Alt, holding Shift, drag your ellipse to the right. We have two circles and we need to recolor one of them. I choose this duplicate. I want to go to the orange colors and create this. Then we need to go to object and create a blend. So go to the blend, blend options, set the spacing to specify steps set the number of steps to one and then use shortcut ctrl alt b or command option b to create a blend go to the object blend and expand your blend ungroup and we need to resize this uh, circle in the middle so go to the scale tool set the value of uh, to 200 percent click ok now we need to change the color to, let's say, this blue and create a blend again. So select three circles, Ctrl Alt B or Command Option B on your Mac to create a blend. Now we need to draw a large, very large circle. Hold Shift, Hold Alt and draw a circle. Swap fill and stroke using this little icon. Then select with regular selection tool, select your circle, select your blend, go to the object, blend, and replace spine. And now we have this blend distributed around the circle. But as you can see, the distance between the circle is not an equal. And I want two equally distributed circles. And I want to share one of the tips how to do that. Grab your scissor tool and click anyway around this path, let's say to this point. And voila, we have the equally distributed uh, circles. We need to go to the blend and increase the number of steps. So blend options says the number of steps, let's say it for click OK, click preview to preview. Our changes we can I think we can set it to 5 and click OK now I want to rotate it a little bit like so and expand it go to the blend and expand I'll group it I want to delete this circle and this as they are both overlapped then probably this and this so I have the circles, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and I want to scale it holding Shift and Alt key. Move it a little bit to the left, then Ctrl C, Ctrl F with this smaller copy, and create another one, and we are ended with this result. Grab a type. Set to logo professional something else. I use Futura Bolt and we 
I probably want to place this all inside this design. Increase the kernel to let's say 150. Copy this color from to logotype. Make make it more much more darker. And we are ended with this result. So, as you can see, the logo with blend is a very fun thing. If you like this tutorial, do not hesitate to subscribe, thumb up, and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end and waiting for your suggestion. What does the pro company do? Have a nice day.